What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to go through the Grant Thornton Audit Virtual Internship for module number two. I'm going to be using uh, Google Sheets for this and once we open up this is what we have. We're given um, this. I'm just going to create a new line um, just to split it up and then we're going to go through all the steps. I'm going to copy in uh, let's say I'm going to use the top of this and we're going to use the payroll tax. So that's the same as we would find in the trial balance sheet as the, um, the instructions suggest. And next we're going to need uh, the f payroll tax rate in New South Wales. Just a quick Google search gives you 5.45%. I'm just copying the URL and pasting it. It's always important to have a source. So we have New South Wales, um, what is it? Payroll tax percentage. Okay, uh, and we can add it in. Actually, we'll do it 0 0.0545. And as a percent. There we go. And I'm going to paste the URL on Google Sheets. You can change the format like this. Just change the text to New South Wales Revenue. There we go. So, and I'm going to change this to a yellowy color because I know I hard coded that in. Okay, now onto the actual task. So we're going to have total, uh, what is it, payroll tax? And actually, I'm going to put that down, add a couple, I'm going to add the headings. And the total payroll costs is uh, basically the payroll uh, plus whatever we pay for superannuation. And that's how we calculate the taxes. So expected payroll tax will be uh, this multiplied by this. I press F and F4 to get the dollar signs. So now that I drag it across, it works the same. Just, uh, yep, works, yep, seems to be working. Now, just formatting it again. Okay, so that looks good. And now I'm gonna also use the previous ones that we see in row 27. So payroll tax um, per the trial balance. Just copy that in, drag it across. So we see there's there's quite a bit of a difference. Now is it too big? So I'm just going to call this uh, another line movement, similar to what we had in module one. And this will be this minus this to get the difference drag across and we're going to get percent variance. <clears throat> so pretty simple movement over the tax. Okay. So here we go, 8.26%. All right, great. So now we can make the conclusion, uh, that it is below 10%. So what do they say here? Yeah, so it's within the uh, tolerable error. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, perfect. And then, so 
that's the first part of the question. Second part is regarding the superannuation. So once I just fix this up, make it look a little nice. You guys can reformat it, do whatever you want. Off to superannuation. So I'm gonna insert a new row, I'm gonna add uh, super an, superannuation uh, percentage. So, which is 10%. And uh, we can, I won't format it, we can just um, add a highlight. And then this is just from the, oops, it's from the, the instructions, I'll just call it brief. And, um, yeah, we're gonna go through a very similar process. So I'm just gonna copy that down. Um, hmm, how do I wanna do this? Maybe I won't copy. So we'll just, so. Um, so. Yeah, so we, we're gonna get the payroll uh, and then whatever it is for 2018. And then now we're gonna find the super, which is 10% of the payroll. Expected super generation. So, um, that's 10% of that, 10% of that. So, I think, uh, sorry, I think I want to do it. Oops, I want to do it the other way. So I'll drag this down. I want to have the, what we have originally. I want to keep it in the same kind of order that we had above. So that's the trial balance. And what we expect to have is the 10%. times 10 dollar signs and drag it across. There we go, so that's good, that works. Change the format. Uh, yeah, that lines up. Okay, and on to the next. So movement, we're gonna add again. There's no difference in the first one. And it should be, yep, 42,000. Get the percentage variance, zero, and, oops, is it? 5%. Okay, so that's basically it. The conclusion is the same because it's under 10%, so it balances within the uh, tolerable error. Yeah, and you can reformat it all you want. Um, that's actually the end of this task. Um, I did this all in one sitting. Apparently, when I looked at the answers, they, there's two parts, so I, this is both of them. I thought that, um, yeah, I, th I thought that it would, that was just one, one part, but apparently it's two. So you can submit both, like you can, you can submit half of this for the first task and then the second half for the second. But yeah, so that's about it. I'm just changing some formats and Yeah, it's important to have that. And then we can add, I'll just show you what I submitted it as. There we go, that was the final submission.
So I just try to make it look a little better and you should be all good to go if it looks something like this. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. If you enjoyed it and it was helpful, please leave a like and a comment and I'll see you all later.